it's on Night of Tears. Yeah, I didn't. I I wasn't even going to listen to all her bull. Um, thank you. She was just like the one guy who's like, you have no idea of the power I. I hold or whatever, and then you know I just went up, and said no, and boom, you're done. An ebony helmet. I can make those. Alrighty. That might be good loot once upon a time, but now... I'm just beyond its level. It, it, it can't even conceive of the power I hold. I'm like Goku, you know? Always being underestimated and being tougher than anybody else ever you know, thought I'd be. You know, fighting Frieza and going Super Saiyan and winning somehow. Even though it seems like half the time getting an ass beat, you know. So that's, alright. Oh, and this was an actual Frost Atronach. I'll just go ahead and take those. And I'll open up Skyrim. Weapons can be improved at a grindstone. Armor can be improved at a blacksmith stable. Yeah. I want to run into more of those people who, you know, just talk a lot of shit and then I hit them once and they die. That was funny. Stendar is the god of righteous rule by might and merciful forbearance. He is a shrine in the Temple of Divines in Solitude. Adjusting my headset. And all. For the most part. Harvest a potato plant. Potato. Got some leek. Got some cabbage. Okay. Now that that's dealt with, we can return to the College of Winterhold. Drain life spell in their right hand, a reanimate corpse spell in their left hand. The power button transform. Ah, okay. Dual building potentially doubles melee damage output, but prevents any kind of blocking. As well, the vampire lords remind me of like the second underworld. Freaking Marcus and that. Maybe just because of the wings. Which the wings on him don't you on the vampire lords in this. They don't make any sense on how they can help something float. They're useless. They they don't make any sense. They defy physics. And that's why vampires suck. They blow. Best movie about vampires was the movie Vampires Suck. Just because it made fun of Twilight. Which I'm gonna give you Here's a brief spoiler for Grown Ups 2. Favorite part in that movie? Yeah, was when freaking the guy who played Jacob got tackled. I me as soon as that scene happened, I was like, fuck Twilight! Hooray! Great movie! And all. Yeah. Just cause fuck Twilight. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Mm. Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Racial phylogeny? What's a what what the hell is a, okay? 
daughter. Okay. Oh. They're books. Books. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that one doesn't help me out. Oh, wait, nope. Ah, oh, man, I'm trying to go through all those books. Wrong thing. I did not want to go to the map. Oh, what? Okay, there. I'm just carrying around three Elder Scrolls, and each of them weighs 20 fucking pounds? Or has 20 weight to them? Holy shit. All these notes. Okay, that one was helpful. That's good. Destruction? All right, all right. Okay, no. Okay, that would be all the books, and, um... Do I get any food, which I can just eat, huh? No, nothing that quite weighs enough. I can just get rid of it, I mean, because it's useless. Did not want to eat that. I ate some stuff I really didn't want to eat. And I'll just use some potions, which are useless. Because I don't really want to drop stuff in here because he gets all mad. Anything that's miscellaneous in here that I can get rid of that weighs a lot. Canticle bark. I'm looking for stuff that weighs some. You know. Something that weighs a bit. Initiates. You were. Okay. Um. Something useless. Looking for something useless. And don't really have anything that's really super useless. Alright, well, I'll just... What's something that... Alright. Okay, fuck it, I'm just gonna drop some daggers. Yeah, just drop all of them. Ah, fuck you. Okay, yes, yeah, so there was an exit straight to the Hall of Villains. And that is not trash. That is a high-quality dagger made by none other than the Dragonborn. Okay. And by Dovahkiin. Onmund. Good to see Scott. It's always encouraging to... Did he now? Yeah. Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? <laughs> Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and mare fought over? Mm -hmm. I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. Mm. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Gwemma, Daedric, not even Thalmor. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my years of experience, but can you feel it? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magic, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work again, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are involved in serious Every research. Services. Yes, I have no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. 
Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruption. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Uh. Really? Will allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psijic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. Mm. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. I'll be the one asking the questions. All you mm. need to know is that the Psijic Order is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. Really don't like this guy. Can you walk any slower? Come on. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. <sighs> Well, this is telling me to go through a different door than the one he went through. So, yeah, I don't know why I was doing that. It might be because it's stupid. It might be because it's smart. Who knows? It was because it's stupid. Thank you for being stupid and telling me to go the long way to where we get two loading screens for the price of one. Uh, actually, we get two loading screens and we could have just gotten one. And you always, you know, never want to go for the two for one, you know, screen deal on loading screens. Please, it is good to meet you in person. I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance, and attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the vision that you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. You set this chain of events in motion at Sarthol. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm also aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. Mm -hmm. As you may have learned, this object, the eye, is immensely powerful. The world mm. is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. Mm. Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. Mm -hmm. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help, but this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Mm -hmm. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? 